Welcome to the homework for grade two, lesson one. This is lesson six. Write your name first. Now, uh, I try to keep my videos short, uh, so if I'm rushing it, just pause the video. Or you can go back over the parts that you want to see again. Uh, if you're rushing to write everything down, uh, just pause it and then catch up and then you can go ahead or sometimes you may not need to watch the whole video you can skip ahead to the parts you need to watch um, so we'll just start with take, we're taking out 10 and this part is just what's 10 less than 40 we got a 10 and a 30 50 is 10, it's 5 tens, right? so 1 less than 5 tens is 4 tens. so we've got 40 and 10 70 is 7 tens. So if I take out one of those 7 tens, I've got 6 tens left, and that's 60. And 60 is 6 tens. If I take 10 out, then I have 5 tens left, and that's 50. And 80 is 8 tens. If I take 1 ten out, that's 7 tens left, that's 70. And we're just practicing the step that we need to do first when we're going to take from 10. We're going to start with the 10 to take and also a part of this is uh, our parts to 10 right here. We get, we're taking from 10, we're, so now we're gonna practice taking from 10. Nine and one make 10. And you should be um, practicing your ways to make 10. If you don't already have it, you should just have it in, in mind already. You should have it down this well, that where you see, you we know we're subtracting from 10. You see that four, you should be looking for a six, and you just know that you need one. You see that nine, and you know you need a one. Here's a seven, and you need eight, nine, ten. You need three more. If you have to count it up in your head, that's okay. But you really should just you should know these like you know your name. You shouldn't have to count them up. Uh, practice them some more until you have them that that well. Two and eight and five and five make ten. And now we practice the different parts of. The different skills that we need to do to do this take from 10 with larger numbers to get us easier numbers to subtract using the skills that we have. 30 minus, here's an example of how to do it right here. A is all done. All done. So 30 is, we practiced this already, taking 10 out from the 30 is 20 and 30. 10 minus 9, there's going to be 1 left there, so we have 20 plus 1, 21. Right? And if it helps, you can also you can write down the 10 minus 9 equals 1, if you, just, if you want to get all the points to that. And we're going to practice it some more here. 40 minus 8, there's our 10. 30 and 10 make 40. We're going to take 8 from the 10. That's going to be 8 and 2 make 10. So, right, we can write it all out. 10 minus 8 equals 2, and 30 plus 2 equals 32. Just writing down all the steps we do in our head. Maybe you can do this mentally already, but we still want to see you write it down because we're just getting good at it now or just starting to learn it. So we really want to write down all the steps, show your thinking. It's important to practice showing your thinking too because you're gonna have to, you're gonna always have to show it. 50, that's 40 and 10. 10 minus eight equals two, and the two plus the 40, 42. And this is really a mental math trick. So we're just writing this down because we're really just learning this trick and we're just practicing it by writing it down. It helps us remember it. 10 minus 7 plus 3 and 50 plus the 3 equals 53. really have to be able to explain your thinking and how you did a math problem. So that's one of the reasons why we write all this stuff down when we're learning a mental math method. 
10 minus the 7 equals 3, and then 60 plus the 3 equals 63. And now we're looking at 80, so let's split that up. 70 and 10. Take 6 from the 10, and there's going to be 4 left, right? 10 minus 6 equals 4. And then we take that 4, and we'll add it to the 70. 70 and 4, 74. 90 is 10 and 80. Take 5 from the 10, you're going to have 5 left. And that's 80 plus 5. Be 5. And finally, we have a word problem. We are going to, oh, let's see, it's not really a word problem. Show how 10 minus 4 helps you solve 30 minus 4. So this is just really what we've just been practicing. Start with the 30 minus 4. And we'll just write a sentence after we're done that kind of explains all the stuff we wrote down here. So it's just what we've been practicing. A 30 is a 10 and a 20. Well, here we are. There's the 10 minus 4, right? That's how the 10 minus 4 helps you solve 30 minus 4. 10 minus 4 equals 6. So 20 plus 6 equals 20. Six. And now the sentence we're going to write, just, just say what we did. Uh, we're going to write, I split 30 into 20 and 10. and subtracted 10 minus 4 equals 6 And the six two. That's it, just write what you did.